So therefore, uh, with Obama, he's going to get $150 million of, in, of television advertising. With Harry and Louise, Harry and Louise, the shills for the insurance company, are now back supporting Obama because that's the secret. It's not uh, when, when Pelosi comes out and says the insurance companies are villains. This is pure demagogy. She's in bed with the private insurance company. She's got to make it look otherwise because you've got to remember, 62% of the Democratic Party wants a single payer, and they're wondering why the hell they don't get anything. And, of course, they will get nothing because cause it's Obama. That's the ultimate answer. Is the reason that this exactly. is Exactly. He not viable. is the corporate fraud. And that's what's so insane, Webster. All these years we fought Bush and his agenda. We're now being called racist. I want to go to calls right now, but I briefly just wanted to have you... Uh, they're erasing my videos, and not videos where I'm yelling and screaming, or not spoofs I did to promote a Joker t-shirt contest. But they are erasing very calm, collected videos where I talk about how they want Republicans and Democrats to fight with each other, to dissipate the awakening, the revolution, the general strike against government, against both parties. They want to make it partisan to divide and conquer, to balkanize. They will not let those videos go out on YouTube. Every time they go viral, they're erasing them, calling them racist, and the message is, let us come together. Now, if that doesn't show and prove they are pimping race, and that they, this is so cold-blooded, Webster. You, you can ask uh, Bill Clinton, who said, uh, they played the race card on me in South Carolina. So, uh, this is simply the, the Obama method, and it's deplorable. And I'm sure there are many in the black community. Again, the people over at Black Agenda Report don't fall for that for one minute. And I'm sure lots of people don't. This is essentially, I would call this ideological terrorism, where you brand somebody as a racist because you can't uh, refute them. Right? It's like being told that you know if you were interested in 9-11 truth, you were a subversive or, uh, or, or uh, al-Qaeda or whatever it was. So uh, this is just, we've gone through a period of, uh, the war on terror, the, the, the aftermath of 9-11, that was the great uh, covert operation of the first part of the decade. Now we've got Obama being used in an attempt to keep a lid on the entire situation, but I don't think so. I think, as you say, the power of the mass strike, which is what you're seeing, that's a mass strike movement among old people saying, we don't want to be euthanized. We don't want to become cannon fodder for genocide for these insurance companies and ultimately for the derivatives, right? So we're saying no to austerity, no to cuts, uh, and we deserve but to Webster, live. But Webster, we understand all that. The bigger discussion here is how are they going to counter people saying no, no, no at every front? They're booing Republicans off the stage everywhere. We've played the videos here. The media won't touch that. I'm saying it's like garlic or a cross or holy water to a vampire to show that Republicans and Democrats are being booed off the stage. We see a real populist revolution of constitutional rebellion forming to really unseat the corporate criminals looting us, and the media is trying to turn us on each other. I'm saying the maximum effort has got to be unity against the bankers, audit the Fed, bring them to justice. Uh, and they are really manifesting their tyranny by erasing our videos, by beating people up, by going to people's houses and death threatening them. I'm just confirming what you wrote in your book from studying him. They really do want to turn America into a Chicago mob-run system. And I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to have explosive ramifications. Right. And I, I think what, what I personally try to do is to intervene in this with a program. Because you can have a mass movement, but if you wish to... Get to the government if you want to govern, if you want to take power in crude terms. You've got to be able to solve these problems, and I think that's going to require an economic program which uh, would need to be discussed. And therefore, I hope if we can get to gridlock at the moment, in other words, if we can simply block, block this so-called health care reform, but also block the cap and trade, that's extremely important. I would think that in the, in the middle of all the troubles that Obama's having, it would also be possible to prevent the Senate from passing this cap-and-trade monstrosity that the, the House has already passed. That's got to be stopped, too, because that's yeah, another yeah. Stop, trillion Stop, stop. We're going to cover that next hour. I want to go back to calls, but breaking news. Nemo has identified the supposed guy with the gun strapped on his hip that the cops let pace around for the media, which they wouldn't let anybody else do. They would violate your rights. He's got a IFB earpiece like I have. Only people in TV are only Secret Service-type people 
law enforcement would have that. Only TV people. This model is a professional grade, because we know these. We've got a bunch of them. He's got a, a professional grade one. Blow that up for folks, Hoosh, please, if you can. He's got a professional grade one in that does not go with telephones. And he looks just like a cop. Webster, boy, that sounds like provocateur, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. And again, that's why I say that with, with Obama, you're getting the worst of Nixon as well. You're getting enemies lists. Uh, Nixon called it preventive detention. Now Remember, be Nixon wanted to bomb the, uh, the, the, con the political convention and blame it on his enemies? That's, that's declassified. Right. And, and, of course, you know, breaking into somebody's uh, psychiatrist to try to find out what he was up to, you know, the Ellsberg psychiat psychiatrist break in. Anyway, you, you, essentially secret intelligence agents running all over the place. In, in, in the Obama case, they're sometimes privatized, right? They're sometimes foundation operatives. But it's the same thing. Obama is the worst of Carter, the worst of LBJ, and the worst of Nixon. I think it's going to be almost impossible for him to stave off some kind of a rebellion inside his own party. And I, I would urge, again, leftists. The leftists have to get out there and do some heavy lifting. Uh, it, it, it's important oh, for them they to just come wanna, into the field. They just want to drink tea and feel important. <laughs> and they just want to come in our houses and take our property. They're just looking for the silverware. Let's take another call here. They're just Nazis. They know. It's all a fake act. They're eugenicists. Let's go ahead and talk to Chris in Florida. Chris, you're on the air with Webster Tarpley. We're going to try to hurry up to these calls now. Go ahead. Dr. Tarpley, I love your show on Saturdays. And Thank Alex, you. have you had or uh, plan to have, it doesn't seem like you have on uh, PrisonPlanet.tv, have you, are you thinking about having Dr. Andrew Molden on? Andrew Molden, vaccine? who's that? Regarding the vaccination issue, he's uh, MD, PhD, was on Coast to Coast in my show last week, says that all the vaccinations, okay. according to his... Okay, I'll uh, look into it. Thank you for the call, Chris. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Justin in North Carolina. Justin, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, I was wanting to know, have you seen the uh, previews for the HBO documentary, We the People, about the Obama campaign? No, tell me about it. Oh, I don't know much about it, brother. I just saw a commercial while I was watching HBO the other day. They're getting ready to release it here in the next couple of weeks. It's just about them falling around during his campaign. It's, it's just a promo for New World Order scumbag. Well, I, I know that know Nancy Pelosi's daughter makes pro-Bush films and pro-Obama films. And I think sh I read she's the one pimping that. Uh, but it, look, all the king's horses and all the king's men can't put this together again. The people fundamentally don't buy either party anymore. Congress's approval rating is at all-time lows. Webster, isn't that the key here, that people finally get it, that Washington's run by a bunch of crooks? Right, and then you've got to take the next step, which is decide what you're for and how you're going to run the government when you take it over. All right, we're going to take more calls when we get back. From uh, Joe, Steve, Kurt, Thomas, and many others. Webster Tartley is our guest. Stay with us. A bunch of video clips coming up as well. And we're going to get into eugenics.